I'm your aunt. Been a while, Herch. Good to see you. Sick. Well, look here. It's my new campaign manager. Got a new job for you. Do you know what gerrymandering is? Of course you don't. You're a regular American, just like me. It's boring egghead stuff involving redrawn voting districts. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, the election's coming up, and them eggheads tell me I'm fucked in the polls because those goddamn Peggy's ain't gonna be voting for me. Say what you will about lunatic cult movements, but the bottom line is they vote. Now, the eggheads say the only chance I got at winning would be to go back in time and gerrymander them district lines so the Peggy's ain't counted. And that got me to thinking I could just as easily win if them Peggy's just didn't show up to vote. Now, I'm not telling you how to go about such a thing, wink, wink, but a permanent solution to my temporary problem would work best if you catch my meaning. Obviously, I'm not saying to murder anyone, because that's still illegal. It is still technically illegal, right? But if there were less Peggy's around, because they somehow tripped and fell on several dozens of bullets, it would probably help my chances. The district in question is up at the crossroads by the Grill Street Diner. You can take my idiot son with you. He's not good at much, but he can shoot okay. And you know, if this were ever to blow back on us, it would be good to have Patsy. I don't even think he'd get jail time on account of him being a little touched. Well, what you're waiting for? Get moving. Home sweet home. No one messes with Herc Sr. Ah, Eli. Hey. You gonna join Herc's gate or what? I need a commitment here, dude. Nice day. Too bad it doesn't mean what it used to. So, you and Herc working together, huh? Kid's been all over the world, but doesn't seem to have learned much except how to blow things up. <laughs> if he pitches any harebrained schemes involving monkeys, you'd do best to ignore him.
you're gonna make Montana great again. Tell you what, how about you take old Nancy? You go around cleaning up this county in that truck, and all them prospective voters will know who's got their backs. Oh, and please don't bring her junior back. Ever. You know, Deputy, if it were up to me, you would have been dead a long time ago. But Joseph has other ideas, and he wants to talk to you, so that's what you're gonna do. Don't worry, my hunters will bring you to him. Ah, shit! He's coming for you again, kid! That was you better be careful! Those hunters could be anywhere! One of you will be strong. Not again. Yeah, your peaches. I know you are in pain. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh, huh? You're not the only one to be tested. Did you know that I had a wife? So beautiful, isn't she? We were pregnant with our first child. And we were just babies ourselves, really. And I was terrified. I'm becoming a father. Mostly about money. She wasn't worried. She had faith that things were gonna work out. She always had faith. And one day she was gonna go visit a friend. Hmm. There was an accident. The Lord take it. They rushed me to a hospital and put me in a room with this little pink bundle stuffed with tubes. And they said that I had to be strong because my little girl was gonna live. God was looking out for our daughter. And they left me uh, alone in the room with her. I just stared at my daughter, so helpless and so innocent. When all she had in the world was me, when nobody from nowhere would fuck me. And in that moment, I knew that God was testing me. He was laying out a path before me, and all I had to do was choose. So I put my hand on my little girl's head, and I leaned in and I could smell her. And we prayed together, prayed for wisdom, prayed for strength.
plastic tube that was taped to her angelic face, and I pinched it shut. began to kick in and kick in. And then nothing. Stillness. Release. The Lord giveth and the Lord. Take. Pain. Sacrifice. These are all part of his test. When we have to prove that we can serve God no matter what he asks.